I'm going to show you how to install a uh, SATA drive into a computer. So I got a two terabyte uh, SATA drive here and I'm going to put it in this computer here. Um, I've got the drive, I've got the data cable, I've got an IDE to uh, SATA power adapter cable, and then I've got some rails over here which I'll show you that I'm going to need. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is the box is all unplugged. So I'm going to go ahead, there's a little Torx screw over here, just kind of loosen that. Um, and remove this panel here. Yours may be a little bit different, it might be there's a little clip or snap or something, but that's how I'm going to do that there. Okay, now i got to release, there's some little latches here for the front, so I'm going to release those and open up the front of the box. Take that off. So now it's all open. Um, here's the built-in drive. Some computers have like some already little uh, bays in here where you can go ahead and just plug the new drive in, but I don't have those. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and install the new drive into one of the uh, existing bays here. So to do that, I'm going to take the drive and I'm going to attach these little side rails to it because this drive is just not wide enough to go be mounted in that bay. So I'm going to go ahead and just mount these little side rails. And they're going to go to, here's the, the, where the little cable connects on the back here. The rails are going to be mounted towards the front. Okay, so now I've got the two little side rails mounted to the drive. Now what I'm going to do is this drive will just slide right in here. And i got a screw here. Let me see, remove this little screw here. This will slide right into the spot here. Okay, now before I go ahead and mount that, I'm going to go ahead and attach my data cable to it. The data cable will go, there's a, uh, a narrower part here and then a wider part here. The wider part is the power and the narrow part is the data cable. So, I'm just going to go ahead, attach the data cable there, and then I'm going to go ahead and attach the uh, power cable here. Um, like that. I'm going to feed these through. I just wanted to attach those first because it might be a little bit difficult to reach to the back of the drive to plug those in. Okay. Then the way this is, only one of the screws really lines up there, but that's not that important.
There's that. There's another hole over here, but I can't quite reach that. There's another hole here, but the, the hole's not big enough for a screw to go through. Uh, but I got like one screw in there. I'd love to put one on the other side, but it's just not really easy to... Uh, I'm not quite sure exactly how to reach the other side. That's fine. So now... I'm going to take my SATA cable here. Down on the board here, there's two SATA uh, cables already plugged in. So, and then there's also SATA 3 and SATA 4. So I'm going to go ahead and plug this into SATA 3. I need to plug this into a power source. So uh, let's find one that's not being used here. There we go. Got all that in. Now it should be all set up. I just need to put it back together, plug it in, and I should be all set.